Tell me a number from 1 to 52. Um, 7. Okay, and what card are you thinking of? Three of Spades. What if I told you the Three of Spades is actually the 7 card? Looks like you um, left another one. Three. YouTube. Today we're learning a trick called any card, any number. It looks hard, but it's actually really easy. So I'll show you guys how it works. Step one, flip over the top card on top of the deck. Doesn't matter what it is, it just needs to be flipped over and your audience should never know it's flipped over. Then you're gonna spread the cards like this. See, they still can't see that this card's flipped over. So you spread it like that, they take a card. Doesn't matter which one, they take a card. In this case, they chose the eight of hearts. So while you're looking at the card, you're gonna do this move. You're gonna push over the top card. You can put your pinky under. This is called a pinky break. You'll see why that's important later. So while you're looking at the card, you take it back and you put this card without them seeing on top of the decoy card, see? So there are two cards here, but they don't know that. And your pinky is now under both cards. You flip it over, that's now a switch. Cause this is no longer their card going in the middle. Put it in the middle, but they don't know that. Then you can shuffle the card, just make sure that their card stays on top see still on top now comes the fun part you tell them to name a number from 1 to 52 the number doesn't matter let's say they name the number 10 you count on 10 cards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and of course it's not gonna work getting close haha they laughed at me but don't worry the trick's still gonna work because now their card's actually in the 10 card see perfect give the cards to them and say i'll tell you why it didn't work because it was real magic, it could happen in your hands, not mine, right? Because you're probably expecting me to do a sleight of hand, but I'm not very good at sleight of hand. But I believe in you to find your own card. So they do a snap, and magically, now it's going to be at the 10 card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and of course, the 10 card. Time for performance. Let's watch it. Okay, go ahead and pick any card you want. Got it? Okay, I want you to take a good look at that card and don't forget it. Right. It's okay if I see it. Your card is the four of spades, right? Uh -huh. Don't forget what it is, four of spades. Just hold on to it for me and put it back in where you want. That's lost, no? And I'll even shuffle so you can see just how clear that is. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to tell me a number from one to two. Nine. Nine, huh? Mm -hmm. What if I told you your card's going with the nine card? One. I'll tell you why it didn't work. Right. Because I really wanted to impress you. It wouldn't be fair if I did it. If it was real magic, it should have been able to happen in your hands, right? Hold on. Now you do it. You wave, believe, and your card's gonna be the ninth card. 